Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now July 31st of 2023, and given that we only have a couple of months more to go until Captain Marvel releases, which, by the way, could very well be an even bigger failure than that of the Dial of Destiny, unless they delay that film. You know, that's being a thing that is being com conversed right now between the Disney board members as well as Bob Iger. They're really trying to decide on what to do with that. However, on top of this, we know that Snow White 2024 is going through a lot of issues and even into a bigger problematic situation, all because of Gal Gadot and what she did with the current scenario. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into what's going on with Gal and Disney, specifically with Bob Iger and the board. Now, we know that Snow White actually was beginning to set up this entire franchise where Disney wanted to create prequels and basic, you know, side movies or you know, spin-off films, whatever have you, similar to what The Lion King is being treated as. You know, we got the 2019 Lion King movie, now we have a prequel focusing on Mufasa. We also know that there's been a lot of discussions between the higher-ups over at Disney on even doing a Scar spin-off movie, so they're really trying to expand that. The same exact thing applies to Snow White, and they recently hit a major brick wall all because of Gal and what she recently did to Disney and how she literally destroyed and wrecked their momentum on building that Snow White franchise. Let's get into it. Now, we know that there's a lot of things happening right now with this movie, not just the backlash and the leaked photos, but also with the ongoing damage control. However, with Gal still having many problems with Disney since the Snow White damage control has been getting out of hand. One major development surrounding Gal completely shut down a major Disney project that has been in development behind the scenes for the past couple of months that they were planning to announce at this year's D23 event in September. Now, initially, she had agreed with Disney to pursue a prequel to the Snow White 2024 film that would focus on the origin story of the Evil Queen. The code name of the film was called Clementiana, which is the new queen name for Snow White 2024 so far. After the recent backlash, Gal confronted both her manager, agent, and even the Disney higher-ups and is now walking away from that project role, which is now forcing Bob Iger and the Disney board to completely shut down this project and not announce anything at D23 by this September. The original plan was to have three Snow White projects, an origin tale of the Evil Queen, the Seven Dwarves, and even Snow White herself, all of which taking place before the, the, before the Snow White remake, and a sequel is even in the talk still to continue the story. However, Gal single-handedly canceled an entire Snow White film that is creating a big impact or a domino effect on their plans for all projects to move forward with those prequels since it was so focused on the Evil Queen universally for all the films and recasting is said to not be an option. Now guys, let me pause here quick for one second. Now, What's crazy is that Gal literally created a ripple effect for Disney where now all of those movies are facing trouble. And to be honest guys, did we ever really see these ever reaching the light of day? I highly doubt it. Whether or not, whether or not Gal would stay for this Clementiana spin-off film, the name of the new Evil Queen by the way. Um, I don't think that they would have ever gotten these made because this movie is going to be such an epic failure come March of 2024, unless it gets delayed, by the way, due to the strikes and, you know, specific re-edits and planned reshoots. Uh, very complex stuff. But we know that Gal realizes that Disney is so incompetent to the point where they have been literally deleting her best acted sequences in this movie. We talked about this last week, about how... They are not using a specific ending that was shot that was considered Gal's best acting of all time, reportedly. And now the ending that they did choose for Snow White 24 reportedly has the worst acting ever for Gal in an actual movie, not just for Disney, but just for her acting career, period. And that's something that she's having a very big problem with and why she walked away. Now, 
Here's the bigger problem at large, is that now Bob Iger and the board are facing that issue because they had this whole plan to really map out making Snow White into an essential franchise, essentially. Kind of like what they're trying to do with Lion King, with now a spin-off for Mufasa, a spin-off in the works for Scar that's being discussed and is in early development right now behind closed doors. And they plan to announce this, by the way, at D23. It's going to be quite interesting to see whether or not that happens. But Bob Iger here just has no clue what to do, and it really set Disney on a course for failure even further. Now, on top of this, this is where things get even all the more better, is that this is now causing the board to even consider canceling out the Snow White prequels and the prequel film focusing on the Seven Dwarves. They essentially wanted to give the film the Lion King treatment, with Mufasa serving as a prequel to the 2019 movie, with Gal realizing that Snow White 2024 will have a damaging effect to her career. This is why she decided to completely walk away from that movie altogether and even informed Disney that she no longer holds any interest in working with them. This is how, of course, and now creating a crumbling effect on the multi-film format for Snow White, and now even the sequel may be facing a sabotage due to Gal leaving the prequel projects altogether. Now again, you know what? Good on her. You know, I know that a lot of people agree or disagree with Gal and her beliefs and what she looks, you know, to pursuing her acting career, but she should have never signed up with Disney, period. Let's be honest, guys. She should have never accepted this movie. And the fact that she does support everything happening with the Seven Dwarfs in this film and everything happening with Rachel Zegler cast as Snow White is also creating more controversy and criticism, but that's okay. I think that the fact that she walked away, it just shows some level of level-headedness, right? <laughs> that she is fully aware that Disney is not a company to work with. And I at least give her a little bit of a one-up for that, and it's gonna be interesting to see, however, what this is gonna do once this film arrives, because I think that Gal reportedly is gonna be forced, we talked about this, to rave about this movie and really kind of give this movie an upsell, you know, obviously because of PR, uh, motives there. She's going to have to go on late night television, engage in interviews, and saying all these great things about this movie. Kind of like what happened with Mark Hamill with The Last Jedi in the beginning. And whenever he talked about bad things about that film, Disney told him, you better reverse those statements. So I think that she's fully aware about how Disney does business. So yeah, I mean, this is an interesting development happening behind closed doors right now. The fact that this is now dead in the water. That prequel film is not happening and it's creating a huge damaging effect on their multi-film strategy for Snow White. And yeah, so guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.